Okay, what we have here is a disc and fire, titanium chassis, titanium through hardware, thrust bearing, the pocket clip is set into a channel, one set screw holds the clip in, you never get a loose wiggly pocket clip. This knife works all day long like a, a gentleman's liner lock folder. Need to open it in a hurry, slide the scale, double action auto. Fantastic knife. This is one of the last, if not the last, disc and fire that I'm holding. They're not available anymore. It's a discontinued model. The new model will be going into the new disc. And this is a rough prototype. This is a rotary firing double action auto. You can spin it that way, or you can trigger it that way. Again, another fantastic disc and USA knife. This will be the rotary release disc. And. Okay, I'm here at Steve Delac's New York Custom Knife Show. I'm at the Disc in USA table. Matt just got back from Europe where he did the Belgian and the Paris show. He did not bring a lot of knives. What we do have is a preview of the new double action auto from Matt. I'm not going to show you too much. This is a rough prototype, but it is an awesome knife. It works on a rotary lock. The rotary lock is engaged by, of course, the dial. Very neat. You can hit it a lot of different ways. Another thing I want to talk about, because this knife, again, is not complete, so I don't want to show too much of it, but this will be ready for blade, we're hoping, and there's going to be a lot of different variants in the way it opens. But also, Matt's new carbon fire, we're calling it. It is a marbled carbon fiber. It's surely going to be very, very desirable, and you'll see it on a lot of tactical and a lot of folders coming up. Again, Steve Delax, New York Custom Knife Show, Diskin Booth. Thank you. Okay, again, a very simple prototype. Rotate the disc. That's all you have to do. You can do it with a push or a pivot. Again, just a super interesting way to deploy a double action auto.